Hello, it's Lock Noob again, and today I have a brand new uh, tool zone puck lock. Uh, there you go. In my vice, uh, quite a quite a beast. Must weigh about half a kilo of uh, what looks like some kind of milled brass or some copper alloy. Anyway, um, and it works just like any other padlock, really. Um, key in, give it a turn, and then what happens is the entire core comes out of the lock, uh, releasing the shackle at the top, which is made of uh, steel, I imagine. Um, so there we go. Uh, the keys themselves actually look a bit like um, keys for a, an American 1100 series padlock, um, but that's an aside. So so these locks themselves, these big puck locks, you'll have seen them kind of attached to um, shipping crates, backs of vans, attached to some form of hasp, and they're designed to... Um, you know, be extremely difficult, if not virtually impossible, to to uh, cut or grind quickly. Um, and as you can see from, let me pop this in the vice the way I let me put it that way up. There you go. Um, and as you can see from the, uh, you know, the, the the keys themselves, it's got a quite nice spitting, uh, a few highs, few lows. Um, and it's six pins, or so one, two, three, four, five, six pins. There we go. So like I said, it's a quite a, a nice kind of feeling lock. It, it works um, well. It's quite smooth, um, and it's a six pinner, and it's designed, of course, to keep um, all your stuff in your shipping container or the back of your van safe. Um, you know, while you're parked up somewhere. Uh, not that I'd recommend you leave anything valuable in your van overnight, but there you go. So uh, let's see how resistant this pretty hefty padlock is to picking. I'm going to be using um, my current favourite pick which is the Sparrows Eurohook. I'm really liking this. And I'm going to be using, um, just because I like it, there's plenty of room in the lock. If you look down here you can see that it's a relatively straight keyway. I can get pretty much any pick in there um, and there's plenty of room if I put my tension in uh, to, to get in there with my, my Eurohook. I'm not even touching the tops of the pins and slide it in and out, so that's pretty good. Um, I think it's deep enough to try and get some of the pins I need to get. And one thing I would say though is is a bit of a noob tip is it's very easy when you're putting these tension wrenches in to put them up so high that you end up pushing them up into the uh, the metal surrounding the core of the lock. Uh, that will lead to it feeling very uh, gritty or graunchy um, and sometimes uh, you've got it picked and you don't realise because you, you're, you're basically jamming it uh, with a tension wrench. So let's give this a go anyway. I try to heed my own advice and try to keep very light tension on. It's a, it's a new lock. Um, light tension. Let's have, a, let's have a go. I'm going to start from the back because I don't think there's any good reason. Why not? Let's have a look. So I'm on pin six, pin five, pin four, six, five, four, pin three, pin two, and pin one. So pin one, pin two, pin three again. Let's check that's right. One, two. Okay, I'm getting some, uh, I think I overset the pin there. Um, reason I can tell is, let me undo it all, is I was getting a bit of counter rotation, um, but it didn't feel like a, a spool pin, because I've got very light tension on there, and it's quite a heavy pin to push down, uh, compared to the rest which are very light. So that was indicating to me that what was happening was that, um, I was pushing the key pin down into the Bible. Um, so and that's why I was getting ever so slight counter rotation on, on, on there. So let's go in again, uh, heeding that warning that the lock was giving me. So six, five, four, four doesn't want to be set so um, let's not overdo that one. Three, two and one. 
Let's go back to the back again, just make sure. Six, fuel set. Five fuel set. Four. I don't know whether you can see, but as I'm pressing down on four, I'm getting a bit of cancer rotation. That I think is pin four, which is the one ought to leave the heck alone. And move on to pin uh, three. Which I think is set. Two. There we go. So it's just two. I think it was it was it was picked, but it was just holding on for dear life, and there you go, we picked. Um, so I didn't feel any small pins in there. I learned from my first lesson um, that I got counter rotation, but it was hard considering the tension I was putting on. I think there's there's no way to really learn that apart from experiences. Um, if it's hard to push the pin down. And it's giving counter rotation, but your tension's light. It's possible that it's actually uh, you pushing a, a key pin down. Um, and if you actually look at the bitting of this key, you can see that that was a uh, um, six, five, four force cut. So that key pin doesn't need to be pushed down um, very much, if at all. So if you start pushing it down, it's obviously going to give you counter rotation, which. Um, is what I found. Okay, so uh, gonna try to. I didn't feel any um, security pins, and it is a six pin lock, and it's supposed to be protecting probably quite valuable stuff. So um, I'd be a bit surprised if we can rake it or not. Um, but since I'm using Sparrow's tools, I'm gonna go for a nice Sparrow's worm, and I'm going to give this a go. Right, here we go. So I'm going to, it worked quite well last time, I don't see any reason to change it. Um, I did notice as I was turning it, it did feel a bit gritty on top, so I've got to make sure that I'm uh, putting light tension on and the, the the wrench isn't biting into the top of the lock there. Um, let's give this a go, light tension, and um, I'm going to do a, a raking, rocking motion there. Oh my goodness, that's not good, is it? That's not good at all. Um, so there you go. Sort of tells a bit of a story there, doesn't it? That just because your your lock is um, big, heavy, it's, it's got you know quite masculine um, writing on and, and all the rest of it, uh, and it's you know going to be a hard one to to, to drill um, or cut or grind. It doesn't mean that you can't just get into it in a few seconds with um, the right kind of uh, tools and a, and a little bit of practice, maybe. Um, but that that's pretty shocking, actually, isn't it? So hope if you do have a work van and you're using a, a tool zone six pin uh, puck lock to lock it up, just maybe reconsider either buying a better security lock or ensuring that you never leave it around the back of the house in in a dark alleyway with all your tools inside. All right, I'll see you next time, cheers.